On this project we will see the process of making a differential braking tank transmission. The system that exists today are dual drive, twin transmissions or geared steering, clunge braking, differential braking and other types. Differential braking systems are essentially an epicyclic transmission with a single fixed gear radio transmitted through idler pinions. The control differential adds an extension to the rack holding the idlers and puts a conventional brake on that extension. With the brake applied, the idlers are locked and the system works like a conventional epicyclic. When the brake is released, the idlers spin, reducing the speed of rotation on that side. This causes the output of that side to slow down by a fixed amount. The advantage to this design is that the brake is not being applied to slow the vehicle, it is simply clutching the second set of gears in or out. This means it does not dissipate energy, except in the brief period it is being applied or realized. Smoother steering can be accomplished by partial application of the brake, but then it begins to dissipate energy like the brake differential. The main disadvantage is that there is only one turning radius. Like the standard differential solution, these systems are also subject to self-turning when traveling over terrain. The more complex double differential system is similar to the control differential in basic concept in that it controls the speed of the tracks by controlling the rotation of the adlers. However, in this case, two complete differential are used one for each track and the idlers are controlled not by a brake but a second power shaft, the steering shaft. Normally the steering shaft is connected to the engine directly instead of the output from the transmission. This means it spins it relatively narrow range of RPM compared to the main drive shaft. Thanks for watching, until next time!